Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today's video is a little bit different. We're not talking about uh, another rematch duel, but instead we're going to be going back to a fight that not many people do at the moment, right? Because there's no reason to do this fight. The drops aren't worthy enough to even do this anymore. Um, but I know some people want to get the badge that dropped from here, which is the badge to ill, which is defeating or basically completing a hundred beastman fight club um matches or dungeon runs so literally i'm only making this video specifically targeted at those people who want to go farm that badge of course there's some people who want to do this for like the side quest completion whatever and they have no clue about this fight at one point in the game this fight was literally one of the hardest things to do um but over time, you know, stuff gets released, power crap happens. And then these fights that used to be like super difficult are just a piece of cake. The only way these fights can ever get difficult is if for some reason, uh, KI just wakes up and they're like, you know what? Let's make advanced combat in here. Then this fight becomes completely different. But that will, I'm not going to say never will happen, but most likely not happen. Um, just because there's nothing that you can get out of here other than just the badge and the side quest completion that's it now i know some people might not do this or some people are just targeting it for the badge completion i get it but now that i've looked at a couple guides and a lot of this stuff is outdated like i mean a lot like people have turned this into like four rounds some people have a three round but you can literally two round this whole thing like the first two fights you can literally one round and then the final fight you just two round it um there's like a super rare chance it could be a third round but like i don't think it's ever gonna happen so for that reason it's just a two round it really is uh just for my testing and doing this multiple times it's really just a two round and we'll talk about it so the only reason i'm uploading that is obviously because of the badge but i haven't done this fight or like this dungeon in i don't think ever the only time i did it was the other day on cam stream because he wanted to complete it you know he had the side quest on one of his characters he's trying to finish all the side quests and i was like you know what i'll try it i remember people talking about it back in the day uh when it was the hardest thing but i never did it myself you know so it got me thinking and um you know i was like you know what we can make an updated guide because the guide that we're looking at was i think in my opinion a little bit outdated um because they weren't taking a fact of some cheats so that's why i'm updating this video and kind of having a better guide for other people uh, in the community so if you do enjoy this type of content be sure to leave a like subscribe all type of stuff tomorrow you guys should see the meow yardy video for the rematch tool so be on the lookout for that as well also i appreciate all the people that have been joining the discord i think we're like one or two members from like 300 members which is crazy you guys are crazy man thank you thank you thank you but let's get into the beastman fight club yeah so to even start this you have to go grab the quest in aerial jungle there's a guy with glasses on him go talk to him he'll give you the quest there's no like free quest stuff you can literally just go up to him and be like hey what's up he will give you the quest and then you're ready to roll right and we're gonna use four people in this fight um soloing it is quite difficult um just because the amount the amount of stuff that you have to do it's highly recommended that you have at least more than one person but for the strategy i wrote down we're using four people just because i tend to use four people in literally anything right um i know this is a very niche setup but i mean no one is really going to be farming this unless they have the stuff that i have on here right just because most people have for example a dwargan hat for the mass fate most people have uh incendiate hat I know Incendiate requires you to have the Cathalon deck. I know, I completely understand. So like the first and second fight, you can not have to use Incendiate. You don't really have to. Um, but for the third fight, Incendiate does help. It really does. Um, but let's talk about the strat. If you guys really want me to switch it up and not put Incendiate in the strats anymore, I can do so. But I'll probably put it in the slides in the, in the Discord. I'm not going to make a whole separate video taking out Incendiate and putting it in there. Because literally, I use Incendiate in like 90% of my things. <laughs> so, that's why. But let's start off with the fights, right? En enough chatter chatter. Um, for the first fight, it's pretty straightforward, right? What you're going to do is you're going to use a potent faint, right? Potent faint because it's 80% faint, right? You can literally use a regular faint if you wanted to, right? 
but I did Poe and Faint because it's, it's a consistent thing that you're doing within the other fights. The only thing you're not doing a Poe and Faint in is the third fight, but you know, you'll see when we get to that. But you're just really doing a Poe and Faint, a Mass Faint, and then you're using a Glimpse, Glimpse of Infinity. You do not have to use this. I repeat, you do not have to use this. I use it because of the fact that it has high damage on, on the dot, right? And if you can make a setup, it's really simple, right? All you do is just make it so you're the only person rocking an Archmastery deck and no one else on your team is using an Archmastery deck. And you're really just competing against the enemy and 100% of the time, you will get a school pit before anybody else. Round one. So that's why I use Glimpse, right? Because of its high damage. You can literally use Headcount. Like, you do not have to use Glimpse. You can literally use Headcount uh, for the first two fights. I just prefer it, right? Um, but yeah, in my strat, we use Glimpse and then the last person just incendiates. First fight is a piece of cake. Also, keep in mind that on my fire, I do have 215% damage. So that could take account of if you guys defeat this or not. Simple solution, like I said in my previous videos, is if you do not have 215% damage because you're lacking on set bonuses or um, you don't have the Nulli robe, easy fix is literally just rocking Nightmare or Skyfire robe. And I already uploaded a video regarding the Skyfire robe. Night ro my, Nightmare robe, I'll probably eventually make a video on the whole Nightmare gauntlet. And then uh you just put on the amulet that you can get from lower zigzag i'll probably make a separate video regarding that too just because not many people talk about that amulet it's literally two extra damage and if you don't have to worry about pierce because fires have a lot of pierce anyways uh you can just switch to a damage amulet and just counteract the damage but that's just my opinion but yeah that's the first round or the first fight done and uh we move on to the second fight second fight you're literally doing the exact same thing uh just pwn faint mass faint glimpse and incendiate the reason we're using mass faint is so the person the second person doesn't have to require to use um like multiple traps like they don't have to like switch between regular faint regular faint stuff like that mass faint's consistent i don't want to have like massive changes within each fight so people don't have to change their deck the only person that's changing their deck is the last person and you'll see why when we get to the third fight but yeah pun faint mass faint glimpse and just incendiate very straightforward now we get to the third fight the third fight that people have been uh i guess dreading because of the amount of hp and the specific cheats that they have now it's pretty straightforward right but there's some things that you guys should know uh a couple things they could shield round one very possible right they could also do a v plague round one because you're not killing round one you're more likely killing round two and there's some things that you can do to counteract the shields or the weakness so what are you doing round one round one is the first person is going to use a fire bubble 35 bubble it's pretty easy to, right if someone's struggling to get a 35 bubble um they shouldn't because you can literally go to the bazaar and buy a 35 bubble amulet that's like level 15 or something like that super easy to get right um they can use that they can use a pet that gives 35 bubble which is the lord of summer they can even sock it on a jewel if they really want to but honestly just get the amulet <laughs> it doesn't require too much work just go get the amulet uh second person doing mass faint because you know they're already using mass faint in the other two fights why not let them do it again and then the third person is doing aura and specifically the frenzy aura because of the 40 percent outgoing on it there's no other aura that does it like frenzies right and you don't want to be blading yourself because of certain cheats so instead aura is a safe cop out just so you don't ignore cheats and then the last person is not using decathlon deck anymore instead they're using um a regular deck right of course just make sure it doesn't have arch mastery actually it doesn't even matter they can just rock any deck right um and just make sure that they do blade storm sharpen blade storm because it's an extra uh 10 percent compared to regular blade storm and i know people will say you can just use an item card but you'll see what i mean when we get to the second round so you do that you do sharpen blade storm whatever and then the second round is now that you've seen what the enemy has done they probably have done a v plague or maybe they have shielded right the person in slot two is that person that is going to take care of that so let's say they decide to v plague right well, first person one is going to do a protected faint on Adrock. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. 
could be wrong but they're doing a protective fate on him and then the second person they can pass if they want to but they react depending on what the enemy does so if you got hit with the v plague the storm or whoever it might be is going to cleanse the hitter if for some reason there was a shield they can shatter right and let's say there is you don't have to, let's say there's no v plague there's no there's no they didn't shield then if just for constant buffs they can just use an item card bladesworn it's super easy to get an item card bladesworn um there's plenty of places that you guys can go and get them but that could be your third option but most of the time they just either cleanse if they need to because i feel like v plague is like the consistent thing that was happening in my runs so that's why i specifically put a storm in slot two um just so they don't have to use tcs because i don't like using tcs too often so i'm trying to like think of stuff that you know it's just very consistent so if it's a storm they already have cleanse learned um i know shatter is the only thing that's like a little bit annoying because you know they, they have to use tc um that's one thing to consider i guess but i haven't had to deal with shields it's quite rare for him to actually shield um but i feel like cleansing is the most consistent thing so just cleanse uh, but like i said if you don't have to cleanse or shatter just item card plate storm very straightforward uh third person's gonna do scald and then last person does incendiate now this kills basically every time right and i know some people might have might not have the stats to be able to kill or whatever that's why i added a third round in case you literally just back up hit kill whoever you need to but it should kill right without crit the scald is killing with all those buffs and keep in mind i do have 215 percent damage um even with 214 percent damage you should be fine right but 215 damage is like it's a good stuff right there that's the, that's the good stuff um but that's essentially beastman fight club right uh, i'm probably gonna put this somewhere in the discord i might make like separate slides and just call them side dungeons or side fights don't know what i'm gonna call it but i need to put all this stuff somewhere so people have access to it so be on the lookout for it in the discord it will always be in the pve guide section in the discord but that is it so if you guys do want to farm this that's how you guys get the badge to ill uh it's a pretty consistent two round very much consistent two round um and that's basically it so hope you guys enjoyed be sure to leave like subscribe all that type of stuff join the discord down below if you guys haven't and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace out guys